In this video, I'm going to share with you my exact three-step process that I use to manifest anything that I want. It's the same exact method that I use to shift into my dream reality, living my dream lifestyle as a full-time YouTuber and business owner. And you can do the same thing too. You can apply this same exact three-step process or method into any area of your life that you see fit to manifest anything that you want, whether it's a new car, a new business opportunity, more money into your life, whatever the case may be. By the time this video ends, you're going to know exactly how to apply it in your own life in a practical way for some powerful results. Check it out. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Meditation with Christopher. Now, let me just start by saying the way that I go about manifesting things right now is a lot different than the way I used to go about manifesting things four or five months ago. And I can say that the past three or four months have been life-changing for me. And I've been manifesting things into my life like I never had before. I used to go about manifesting things in an entirely different way and I would feel stuck. I would feel like I wasn't getting to where I wanted to be anytime soon. And it wasn't until I started applying this three-step process that I'm going to share with you in this video that the momentum really started to build for me in my life, that I really started to attract and manifest whatever I wanted into my experience. And that's why I'm going to share it with you in this video. The first thing that I got to share with you today to manifest anything that you want is simply just be and get clear on whatever it is that you want. Because through life experience, we go through so much contrast. We go through so much contrasting experiences. And it's in those contrasting moments that we can actually get clear on who it is that we really are and what we do really want to experience. And it was one powerful choice for me that I made, and it was in a contrasting experience that I made the choice, right? When I say contrasting experience, really I mean like a negative experience or something negative that I was going through. And it was in one of those moments that I was able to birth this entirely new idea. And I knew that if I started applying this idea in my life every single day, then my life would totally change a few weeks from then a few months from then, and a few, a few years from then, I would be living an entirely different life, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. You know, I, I quit my nine to five job nine months ago and started going, doing YouTube and being a full-time business owner. I took it seriously. I started taking it full-time, but I had to follow this first step first, which was be and get clear on what it, what it was that I want, because if you're not clear on what you want, you don't have a certain level of belief in, in oneself, right? Because I used to have a lack of believing in oneself. I used to have self-worth issues, right? And it really did connect to the way that I viewed myself or my self-image, right? Your self-image is one of the most powerful things that's gonna help you to manifest anything that you want in your life. For example, if you don't look at yourself as the version of you that you prefer to be, if you look at yourself as this version of you who stinks at manifesting, who doesn't get the things that they want in their life and things don't go well for you, well, you're gonna act according to that. In other words, you're going to match the frequency and the vibration of this version of you that isn't living the life that they truly desire. And that was me eight or nine months ago. I had to change myself from a vibrational level, but also I had to line up my self-image with that version of me that I prefer to be. I started viewing myself as a full-time YouTuber and business owner before the, there was even physical evidence. Before I was actually manifesting things into my life, I had to change myself from a vibrational level and from the level of the self-image in order to actually see the manifestations in my life and actually bring the physical, the physical evidence to me because what would happen was I kept falling back into old vibrational patterns, right? There's something that I like to call thinking on autopilot or creating on autopilot, which is where you aren't being the deliberate creator of your reality that you really could be, which means that you are stuck in certain vibrational patterns, which what I mean by that is doing the same things every single day, getting the same results every day, thinking the same thoughts and feeling the same way each and every day, right? Your vibration literally is a mix between your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. It literally is the energy. Everything in this universe is energy and your life literally is a blank slate mirror reflecting your internal condition and energetic vibration. And your vibration literally is the energy that you are embodying right now in the present moment, which is why I always mention to you guys, we have to start really stepping into our power by being the change that we want to see because your life is equal to your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. So I had to get clear. I had to get clear on who I really was and who 
I prefer to be. I had to get clear on the version of myself that I preferred to be and start lining up with that every single day. I had to get clear on what it was that I really wanted and start realizing that my desires are meant to be fulfilled and so are yours. That's why you have the desires in the first place because they are going to propel you forward to allow you to get and attract whatever it is that you want to manifest into your life. But the first step in this three-step process is to just be and get clear on the version of you that you prefer to be and the lifestyle that you prefer to be living. All right, now the second step in this process is to align with the frequency, align with the vibration, align with the thoughts and the feelings and the actions that this version of you would have because really quantum physics is now proving and showing to us that there really are an infinite amount of realities. (laughs) There are infinite amount of realities. For example, when we talk of shifting to parallel realities, every single moment you are shifting into an entirely new reality. Right now you're shifting, right now you're shifting, and right now you're shifting. Even when I move my hand this way, that was a potential reality because I could have moved my hand this way. I could have walked over here and did this. I could have walked over here and did this. See, these were all different potential realities, and every single moment, right now in the present moment, you are shifting into an entirely different reality based off of who you're allowing yourself to be right now in the present moment, okay? So really, it's like the frames in a movie. When you stretch out the frames in a movie... You can see them bit by bit and piece by pe- piece by piece. And that's exactly how your reality works as well. You see, every single moment you are shifting into an entirely new reality. And that's why the second step in this process is to really align with the frequency and the vibration of the version of you that you prefer to be. Because the truth is, there's a version of you that's out there killing the game right now, that's out there living their dream life, that's out there doing what they love for a living every single day. And really, you just have to... To match the frequency of this version of you, which means you literally have to align your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions with this version of you that you prefer to be. And so reality can't help but give you the reflection that you're desiring because that's how it's going to work vibrationally. This is the laws of the universe that we're talking about here. You know, Albert Einstein and Nikola Tesla both said, if you want to understand the way that the universe works... You gotta start thinking in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. You gotta start matching the frequency of the reality that you prefer to be in if you wanna see a reflection of this in your life, okay? So this means getting clear on what you want, who you prefer to be, and matching yourself with that version of you, which means deciding that this is who you are now because every moment is a new moment and you are who you choose to be in the present moment which is gonna to connect to breaking out of your comfort zone a little bit. Because when we get stuck in certain realities, you know, we start, it just feels comfortable to us. It feels natural to us. So we gotta break out and try new things. You know, we gotta think of the thoughts and the feelings and the actions that this version of us would have in our dream reality. And you can do it right now. Imagine this dream version of you. Imagine what they're doing for a living every single day. Imagine what they're doing every single day. And Think of the thoughts, the feelings, and the actions that this version of you would have and choose to embody that right now in the present moment and start aligning to that every single day. You know, when I first became, or when I first decided I was a full-time YouTuber, that's exactly what it was. It was a choice that I made. And it was that one choice that I made in one single moment that shifted my entire reality into what I'm living right now as a full-time YouTuber and business owner. It was one choice that I made that I'm going to do this every single day for who knows how long. I said, I'm going to do it for a year straight, or I'm going to do it for two years straight, however long it takes until this is my reflection in my reality. And that's exactly what I'm getting right now. I'm starting to manifest more things in my life that align to that frequency and that vibration of this version of me that I chose to be in that moment. So the second thing that you got to do here in this three-step process is align with the frequency and the vibration of the version of you that you prefer to be. And I've actually created a powerful meditation that you can use for this purpose that will help you get clear on the version of you that you prefer to be. And vibrationally tune yourself to that frequency because it really is like a radio dial. you got to tune yourself to 98.1 if you want to perceive what's happening on that station. Right? You can't be over here on 68.2 where you're feeling the lack of and the absence of your dream reality, your preferred lifestyle, and continue practicing that. You can't expect to do that and see a reflection of the life that you truly want to live, right? So the second thing that you got to do is align with the frequency, align with the thoughts, align with the feelings, align with the actions. You know, even Neville Goddard and Abraham Hicks speak of this all the time. Even in the book, um, Think and Grow Rich, I believe, is by somebody named Napoleon. I forget his last name. 
right? All these powerful books that have such a higher vibrational potency to them that change millions of people's lives already, they even speak of this, how the feeling is the secret. It's your energy or your emotions, the energy in motion, right? Which will connect and help you to align your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions, right? It's all going to connect together to help you create the experience that you prefer to be in because it really is about the present moment and the power of now, the power of right now in the present moment, what you are doing. And a lot of what you want to experience and feel in your life, you can feel right now by choosing to embody this version of you that you prefer to be. You know, a lot of times we think it's always about the finish line or the end destination, and really it's always about right now in the present moment because most of what you're wanting to manifest later on in your life anyways is for the feeling of it. It's for the feeling that you think you will accomplish when you get this. But I'm here to share with you that if you can accomplish the feeling first, and start embodying this energy every single day and aligning your thoughts with this feeling and aligning your actions with this feeling and this version of you that you prefer to be that's killing the game, living their dream life, then the more that you do that, the more you'll actually tune yourself to that frequency and the more naturally it'll feel to be in that space and reality will actually give you an entirely new reflection. All right, so if you practice this meditation for 21 days, you will fully wire in the vibration of your dream self that's living their dream reality. And you will totally tune your frequency to that of your dream lifestyle. All right. Now the third and final step I got for us for today is kind of what I was just mentioning a minute ago. Just simply visualize, practice, and feel as if it's already here. So visualize what you want to manifest in your life, whether it's like I was saying in the beginning of the video, a new car, a new business opportunity, more money in your pocket. If you could visualize this and get to the specifics of it and... Practice this every single day to wire it in more and more and more in your subconscious mind and your, and your conscious mind and feel as if it's already here. Well, then it doesn't even matter where you're going anyways because you're actually feeling as if it's already there in the present moment. That's why the, the end destination never matters and it's always about the now. It's always about the present moment. It's always about what you're doing right now in the present moment. And then... As long as you're taking care of your present moment and your now and you're feeling good in, in your now and you're vibing high in your now and in your present moment, then you later on must be prosperous because you're continuously taking care of your present moment, right? So we got to start visualizing the specifics of what we want. If it's too hard to do that, if it's too hard to visualize the specifics of what you want, a lot of times we have resistance to certain subjects. For example, I'll use money as an example. A lot of us, we have resistance when we think about attracting a certain amount of money in our life we say oh I can't do this you know this is hard to do right but it's that resistance that makes it further away from you it's the it's the discord that you feel in that exact moment right so a lot of times if it's hard for you to visualize something specific then go general about it go general and say I know that more money is coming to me I know that my desires are meant to be fulfilled I know that I'm doing the right necessary precautions to attract this into my life, and it's only a matter of time, right? That helps you release resistance to the specifics. And then you can get more specific with your visualizations, all right? So and then we gotta practice visualizing this every single day and actually feeling as if it's already here, right? If you wanna manifest $100,000 in your life, well, you gotta start visualizing that you already have this money. You gotta start practicing the feeling of how it would feel when you have this money. And like we were saying before, with the other two steps, align with the frequency, with the vibration, with your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions that this version of you would have that's killing the game, living the dream life. And if you don't know what you got to do, if you don't know the right actions to take to get this manifestation, well, you got to do more meditation because that'll help you release resistance in your thoughts. And that's exactly why I created that meditation for that purpose that will help you to do that, to help you get clear. <laughs> To help you get clear on what you want and how you can do it, all right? And all of the right things will just naturally flow to you at the right time when you're in a high, naturally high vibrational place. A lot of times we just can't, we just won't receive the right inspirations and the right thoughts about the right actions to take if we're in a low vibrational place. We're just simply blocking ourselves off. It's a different, it literally is a different frequency. And you can't be in two frequencies at the same time, Right? So first, be and get clear on what you want, align with the frequency and the vibration of this, which means the version of you, because really your life is a blank slate mirror reflecting your internal condition and energetic vibration. Your life literally is equal to your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. 
And then we have to visualize, practice, and feel as if it's already here. And by practice, I mean doing this every single day and choosing to embody this every single day and feeling this every single day until reality can't help but give you the reflection that you're desiring. That's my three-step process to manifest anything that you want. If you do this for 21 days, if you do this for one day even, life will immediately start responding to you in an entirely new way. But if you do this for 21 days, you will fully wire in an entirely new vibration and it won't even take that long to be living an entirely new lifestyle, the one that you prefer to be in, all right? But really do check out that meditation. You can click it above my head right now and do that meditation for 21 days and it will powerfully help you wire this new vibration and frequency in, all right? Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, peace and love and namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Later.